Hello beautiful people, welcome back to another YouTube video. If you're new here, welcome. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Also click that notification bell so you won't miss any of my videos because um why not? So today in this video I will be doing a Christmas set with a little 3D art, some um nail art, 3D sweater, and y'all i had a lot of fun with this set i didn't know what i was doing but it all came together very well and the ending result was so beautiful first before we get into the acrylic application i am going to be quickly showing you guys these gel liners that this company on amazon sent over to me um i will leave the link down in the description box of where you can purchase these if you are interested these are very 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 pigmented colors they are very beautiful very vibrant um the only thing that i must say i was a little shocked at the size of them they're kind of small but listen they're very nice colors very nice cuddle colors and little goes a long way so like look at that it's like um like a little lipstick so I'm just going to quickly um, show you guys each and every one of the colors and I will be using these in my nail set today for my nail art. So I feel like I'm just rambling on so I'm going to let you guys um, just look at these colors and then I'll come back when we start the application. And these are all of the colors swatch and I did go ahead and put a top coat over it so you guys see how it would look with a top coat. Um, I will be using the silver, the orange, and the black in this nail set today. Okay, so starting off with these nails, I'm going to be taking my gem gel from Not Polish and I'm basically going to be putting that underneath the nail to make like the little icicle um, nail. I'm not going to lie you guys, it was kind of... Um, <coughs> It was kind of hard which is crazy because this is not the first time I'm doing this type of design um, and for some reason when I put my hand under my lamp to cure it that junk was burning so freaking bad like it was burning so bad I had to take my hand out and like let my finger cool down and then put it back in there so it can fully cure um, also what I think I should have did was after I finished like pushing the saran wrap into the gel to get it how i want it i should have wiped off the sides of the nails because when i pulled it out there was so much excess that i did not need there and i had to go in and basically like straighten it back up that's why you see the dust because yeah it took me a minute like that shit was hard So 
starting off with my application, I will be going to not polish this nude panther. This is my go-to nude. I absolutely love it. This along with the Mia Secret Cover Pink. Despite everything that not polish has just went through with the whole mystery box thing, um, I'm not gonna sit here and lie and say that they don't have good products. Not Polish has one of the best powders I've ever used and I've tried quite a few. Okay, I've tried quite a few. I've tried Nail Supply Glamour, Dynamic, and Acrylics, which I do not recommend. Do not spend your money on air acrylics. Um, Nail Supply Glamour has good powders. Dynamic, y'all know I love Dynamic Nail Supply. Um, I've tried, it's a whole bunch, but I can't even think right now. So, this is going to be a full nude nail. And I am using my Kiara Sky number no. eight Kalinsky nail brush today. I absolutely love this nail brush. It's one of my favorite nail brushes, along with my Panda. So, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and put this new Panther all over this nail. And I did leave the acrylic application in real time, so you guys can see me struggle to try to mold this nail as perfect as I possibly can make it. Um, and for my monomer, I am using my Nail Supply Glamour monomer along with my Not Polished Neutralizer definitely helps a lot because nail supply glamours monomer is not really like low odor it's low odor but it's not low low odor like um young nails monomer so yeah oh you guys i did a french with gel polish on this nail right here this nail right here that i'm doing and y'all i surprised myself it came out literally perfect i know there's always room for improvement but shit to me it was perfect like really perfect i was so proud of myself and then the snowman a lot of people um when i posted on instagram thought it was a nail charm they were asking me where i bought the nail charm from and i'm like girl nail charm don't underestimate me sweetheart i did that with acrylic baby yes i made it myself and it was really easy surprisingly i actually like doing 3d nail art with acrylic um really easy so yeah you guys stay tuned for that Okay, so y'all, let me tell you about this nail right here. Y'all seen how big that bead was, right? It literally would have been perfect. This application would have been perfect if the acrylic made it all the way down to the bottom of the nail. But I drained too much of my monomer out, so the bead was already a little on the dry side. But it literally stopped right at the tip. And y'all, it was doing so good. It just had to hold on just a little bit longer. But the, maybe the wheels wasn't too, too strong for this because the wheels fell off and I did not make it to the end of the row. Y'all, I did not make it to the end of the row. I was so mad because look at how perfect this looks. It literally stopped right at the tip of the nail. And also, correcting my mistakes, you guys, um, the, the um, tip of the nail did not come out as crisp as I wanted it to. Because do you guys see that little thing right there at the tip of the nail where the number is? I did not... I did not file that down before I started my acrylic application so it kind of you can see the indent like you can see the little lump at the bottom and that was driving me nuts that was driving me freaking crazy but yeah y'all see what I mean I had to add another bead to the tip and I was trying to do like a three bead method I was trying you guys but it just didn't make it it said not today baby try again you try it but not not this time um i'm so like i have so many christmas sets in mind that i want to do for you guys i literally have them in my head y'all like i have so many ideas but i feel like december is already moving so freaking fast like i don't think i'm gonna be able to put out all of these like nail designs like i just don't think i'm gonna be able to put out all these videos and here i am thinking i was gonna do like a christmas series where i post a video every day baby that is <laughs> i don't know how y'all do it but listen not i 
not uh, y'all december is moving so fast and can y'all believe in like two and a half weeks it's gonna be 2023 like it's just so crazy to freaking think about like this year went by so freaking fast like i just cannot believe it and y'all it's just so crazy um what does everyone have planned for christmas do you guys do anything special for christmas like any family traditions or anything me um this is the first time i'm doing this but i've never really celebrated or like went all out for christmas until i had my kids after i had my kids i started like spending mad money on toys i love wrapping presents for my kids and i just the whole stocking by the candy and stuff and just do all of that extra stuff cookies and milk hot chocolate like i go all out now so what i plan to do christmas morning i'm gonna wake up at like five o'clock in the morning i'm gonna make like a big breakfast um i invited a few people over for christmas breakfast there's gonna be bacon sausage eggs waffles potatoes cinnamon roll biscuits grits um waffles chicken fried chicken chicken waffles um yes there's gonna be a lot of food and i plan to have breakfast started at eight o'clock because you know everybody got to go back to their own families and do it you know what they got to do and then after that you know once everybody but then again kids kids not gonna want to eat no damn breakfast they're gonna wake up at like four in the morning want to open presents so this finger right here the thumb i'm gonna be doing like a ombre the glitter is gonna be over top the nude um the glitter that i'm using it's from glitter bells and it's called silver star it's a really pretty color and with that same glitter acrylic, I'm going to be putting that on my entire index nail. Um, so after I finish this thumb, I'm going to go right back to the pinky nail where I did the little icicle look. And I'm going to be using this milky white acrylic. I actually mixed it with some clear. Um, this is the Milky White from Not Polish, and I just mixed a little bit of their clear in it just to make it just a little bit more transparent so it's not, just so it looks like creamy, like, <laughs> just so it's not too, like, white, I guess you would say that. I'm trying not to talk too loud because my daughter is right here laying down next to me. Um, so yeah, and with this, you don't want to use too big of a bead because you don't want the acrylic to drag down too far because you still want the icicle look to um, be noticeable and not too like cloudy with all the acrylic over top it. So I am going to go in and I'm going to cap that pinky nail in clear and I do use the Mia Secret Clear. Now I'm going in with this very pretty silver glitter acrylic. I'm just going to add a little bit on there on the pinky nail and um i honestly shouldn't have did this because it looked perfectly fine without the glitter just to give it you know like a little razzle dazzle um so now back to the glitter ombre nail this glitter didn't really spread how i wanted it to spread like it like stayed in one place um so yeah i was thinking about because i want to get a lot more into nail art because y'all oh baby child let me tell y'all when i was drawing on the snowflakes on this nail it was so hard something that looks so simple is actually so damn hard y'all like i literally cut like a whole 45 minutes off of this video just to um because i was like struggling to do the snowflakes where i ended up doing it the easy way well it was easy but it was still kind of difficult when you're doing it on yourself because you can't turn your finger a certain way um, it's like where you take take the dotting tool and you make the dots and then you just draw the line through the dots That's what I ended up doing But it was actually pretty pretty hard for me because I'm not someone who's so familiar with nail art and using Gel and nail art brushes and stuff like that And another reason why I think it was so hard for me to draw the snowflakes is Because the nail art brush that I have like it frayed out so much like if anyone knows of any really good nail art brushes that are really skinny like really skinny bristles and it's like a really fine 
like really fine bristles where it's like really skinny that could make really neat lines please let me know down in the comment section below because i desperately need it um so now i'm going in with my panna five in one drill bit and i'm just going to shape these nails up just a little bit and seal my cuticles um and then i'm going to use my hand file and crisp up the shape just a little bit more and then we're going to get into the nail art So y'all guess what I did? Guess what I did? Um, since my kids were born, remember earlier in the video I was telling you guys that I started going all out for Christmas. Okay, so the past two years I have bought so many damn toys for these two kids that they play with for a day and then they forget all about them because they watch their tablet or they just cling to one toy. Like I'm literally in the room right now and they have a big ass damn toy box filled of toys and so i told myself this year i said andrea you are not gonna sit here and buy these kids all these damn toys because it's just gonna end up all over the house and then they're gonna forget about them the next day y'all why the hell these kids already got like 10 toys each and i am not done because i plan to still shop up until christmas christmas eve i'm still gonna be wrapping stuff and like the christmas tree is full <laughs> um y'all y'all probably gonna think no don't take that away from the kids let the kids believe in santa claus and da 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 but see me personally and i don't know why and i don't know if it's just me but i'm the type of mother like um we come from jamaica so we already don't celebrate you know like the easter bunny and santa claus and the tooth fairy and ray ray all that stuff right but me personally i want my kids to know that yes mommy and daddy bought you these toys okay because suppose they're like well damn all of these presents say from santa why my mama didn't get me anything mommy what you gave me life <laughs> i gave you life no but for real though like i want them to know like it's from mommy and daddy mommy and daddy love y'all so much y'all get whatever y'all want da -da -da. but maybe it's just me y'all let me know y'all thoughts on that in the comments down below so this is the fringe i was talking about y'all see how it's coming together already yes baby love it looks so good and i was so proud of myself because if you uh if you do nails and you tell somebody that doing french drawing on a french is easy you lying you're definitely lying like don't get me wrong sometimes you do it in one try and it's perfectly fine where you don't have to go and clean nothing up but y'all know good and damn well let a let a client come in and say they want frenchies on onto nails you're gonna start stressing because baby it's time consuming it takes up time it takes up time and it's not easy but look at yeah 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 it looks good y'all and now i'm just gonna be going in and doing my sweater design this was the first time i'm doing this design and it actually turned out really really cute um i want to do it with like i was thinking of doing like a um shades of brown like not brown shades of um green or blue or pink I think those are nice Christmas colors in red. Do like different shades and do like sorter design on them as like French. I think that would be really cute. So yeah. And I did go ahead and I top coated these nails before I started doing my sweater design. You guys let me know down below if I did it wrong. Was I supposed to top coat and then draw my French? I'm not sure. I think the French it was supposed to be mad i wasn't supposed to top coat it but i'm not sure i don't know y'all it's the first time i'm doing this so 
let me know down in the comments below how you're supposed to do it if i'm supposed to just go straight in with my top coat cure it then draw my french cure it and then do my sweater design or was i supposed to how i did it in this video where i drew my french and then top coated it let me know because i am lost So now I'm just going in with my Algea Beauty Top No Cleanse Top Coat. And I'm top coating this nail before I go in with my snowflakes. Um, yeah, I cut all of that footage out because it was literally like 45 minutes of me drawing lines that were not parallel. So I'm just going to show the parts where I actually did the final design of the nail. Um, you guys, let me know if you guys would be interested in doing like a vlog with me doing a vlog i found this new nail supply store it's like 30 minutes from my house and i think it'll be a cool little vlog like a day in the life or maybe just like a nail supply store run i'm not sure yet because my days are pretty crazy some days are pretty crazy and some days are literally so repetitive you know i wake up um get the kids day started get the breakfast and then we literally stay home until i have to go to work at night because i do work at night so it's kind of like we have all day and it's literally just me and the kids like we don't do anything really go out i take them outside let them play outside but when we do go out um i do plan on vlogging like a day in a life or whenever i have clients and stuff like that because when i have clients coming i usually sanitize all my stuff i set up i clean and you know just get every little thing get the stuff ready um, but I do plan on going to this new nail supply store um, and I just found them today on Google and they have like um, Young Nails, they have Me a Secret, they have Kira Sky there, they have you know a lot of brands and I do need to go stock up on some stuff so I plan to spend maybe like mm, maybe like four five hundred dollars because y'all y'all know nail supply stores are not cheap and that's why stores are not freaking cheap i the the little haul that i showed you guys i spent a hundred dollars on all that stuff so yeah nail supply stuff is not cheap but i'd rather buy my stuff in bulk so as you see here i already started doing my snowman and all i'm doing is i'm using my 3d nail art brush and i did get this from amazon it's a size number two brush and it's literally the best 3d brush i've ever used i want to try the panda brush but if it ain't broke don't fix it so i'm gonna stick to what i know um so it's pretty self-explanatory i'm just taking my acrylic and i'm molding it to the shapes that i want and for the hat once it like sets a little bit i'm just gonna take my cuticle pusher the end of my cuticle pusher and make like the texture of the hat to where it looks like it's that fuzzy material just to give it some texture and then i'm i'm also going to be putting on a scarf on mr snowman here and when it sets a little bit i'm going to go back in with my cuticle pusher and i'm going to make the scarf a little textured um, someone actually DM me on Instagram when I posted this set and said that I should do like a full set of 3D snowmans. A full set of 3D snowmen with like different colors and that's pretty, it's not a bad idea at all. So you guys look forward for that. So now taking the black gel polish from the liner kit, I'm going to be making the little eyes, the mouth, and the three little buttons. And then I'm going to go in with the orange gel polish and make like the little carrot nose.
so i'm just gonna go in and with my same Igel beauty no cleanse top coat i'm gonna go ahead and top coat all of these nails you guys i remember when i reviewed this top coat i was telling you guys that it was a little watery but i actually really like it this top coat is so clear y'all look at that isn't it so breathtaking it's so pretty i want to do a full i actually have another set that i did literally like months ago but i'm gonna edit it and post it now just because it was a christmasy type of set so i wanted to save it for christmas it's a frozen inspired nail set and it's like the ice cold it's so pretty but you guys this is the end of this video i know i was rambling on a lot but y'all know y'all my only friends y'all the only people i get to talk to <laughs> So you guys, this is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Comment down below how much you would charge a client to do something like this. But everyone be safe and I will see you in my next video. Bye.